Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome back to the Stop Buying B Series Part 6. Today we're going to dive into these boxes. We're actually going to get them prepared to split. Um, where our queen cells are coming out of the incubator tomorrow and going into the colonies. Um, so we got a little bit of work to do today and we're going to walk you through it and show you how we do it. Stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember, this is the colony that's been giving us trouble since we started this series. Um, the bees are eating well. Uh, They've started a few dinky queen cells, but we're going to try to take care of that. They, they've ate a whole jar of syrup. The box is getting heavy, um, but they're still not queen right. Um, so tomorrow we're going to put a cell in here for them of our choosing. Uh, we'll show you if they've got any, if they hadn't tore them down, we'll show you the cells that they've drawn out. Um, they're pretty pitiful. Um, this colony started as a land worker colony. As you can see, it's grown because we've been giving it brood daily or one well, weekly, um, just to keep the populations up. Um, that's real important and keeps the brood pheromone going and helps them not to become laying worker colonies. A lot of a lot of bee bread in this frame. If he'll zoom in and show you, um, it's fresh. It's coming in now. We do have a small flow underway. Um, the colony looks good except for not being queen right. So that's what we're trying to fix. It's what we've been trying to fix for a while. We gave them some uh, uh, eggs and larvae to see if they would draw it out themselves. They didn't. Um, they did start a few queen cells. But we're ready to we're ready to give them a queen that we, we know where she came from. And... We grafted her off this colony here, and she's doing superb. Yeah, more drone brood right here. Just drone cappings. I don't see any queen cells at all. I don't see any eggs at all. Still no eggs. Here's a queen cell they've started. Two cells. Here with royal jelly. And here's another one with royal jelly. But they're not viable cells and they're not going to be anything. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Because tomorrow they're getting a cell from us. And we want them to like that cell. We want them to accept it and take take good care of it. You'll hear different comments on different way people keep bees. Some will say not to ever destroy their cells, and but I, I would rather give them a cell that I know where it came from and the genetics and all that good stuff behind it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give them our cell. We know it's been taken care of. We know it's been kept warm. Here's a few more cells that they've grown out in an attempt to raise a queen. Nothing spectacular. I don't... I don't even know how they're drawing any cells unless they're using some of the brood that we gave them. There's there's a drone brood right there. I'm just checking it for mites, see if I can see anything on it. I don't see anything. Shake these bees down. I just don't want to miss any queen cells. All this is drone brood right here. These bullet shaped cappings. see any queen cells on this one but I'm gonna give them a shake just to make sure yeah no queen cells on that high beetle right there we got him Few drones walking around on this frame, not many. 
here's a drone here that's walking around right there so we're hoping we're gonna have drones ready to mate with not guaranteed we may have to go through another round of this but it's the only hope we've got for this colony we're, we're splitting a little early too um, because we're trying to make so many but we're not gonna do anything that's gonna jeopardize our colony here by doing this more food okay there's a queen cell there that they've drawn out I don't want it I'm gonna get rid of it and by doing that I'm hoping they'll accept our cell more readily there's another cell it does have a larva in it, but not anymore. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what I've done on that colony to our left is I made it hopelessly, hopelessly queenless. And that should encourage them to accept the cell that we give them tomorrow. Um, she'll, she'll hatch in two days and they'll keep her warm and, and really take care of that cell because that's all they got. So now we're gonna dig into this one. We're gonna go a little more in depth on this one and see what we got. We're gonna check this one because we saw a cell that looked like it had been hatched. Uh, or the queen had emerged. We're gonna check that and see what we see in it. It's getting a cell either way. Um, this is our queen bright colony. We just put a super on top for her to start polishing it in anticipation for this split. So we'll dive into that and we'll uh, let you know how that's going. If my smoker will work, I might have to relight it. No, it's coming. It's coming back. Give this entrance a little bit of smoke. Yeah, or do it without any smoke. Either way, it ain't doing too good. That's what happens when your kids light your smoker for you? Sometimes they don't. They don't do it good, do they, Corbin? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna look in the top of this. I'm actually gonna let him go relight it because I got a feeling we're gonna need it. I'm gonna let him relight that. And I, want, I just want to take a peek down in this box here and see what's going on. See if they're working it. Check for the queen on there. I don't expect her to be in this top box yet. But I do see bees up here. It looks like they're getting ready for her to be up here. Looks like they're polishing some frames. Who knows? She could be up here though. That bottom box is pretty full. Be real gentle you don't want to roll your queen yeah they're storing some some nectar up here so i want to keep that and we're actually going to bring some brood up this one and into this one and it's going to be a little complicated for you to follow along but if you got any questions please leave them in the comments or if you don't understand something i'm doing let me know um i want to keep this frame but mainly i'm going to take some brood frames out of that one and put into this one there's some more stores in this frame right now I'm just glancing through it for a queen make sure she's not up top no queen there no queen there no queen in this one that I see
No queen on that one. So I'm gonna say my queen's in the bottom box. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come through this colony, real gentle, cause I don't have any smoke. Well, that wasn't real gentle. These things are still glued together pretty good. But I wanna find my queen. I'm gonna start on the outside frames. So she's typically on the inside, but you never know. She could be on this frame right here, so be real gentle taking it out. All I'm seeing is a bunch of nectar and uh, pollen stored in this frame. So this will be a good frame to transfer to this box to help get them a head start. And I want it over here next to the feeder. I'm going to put that right there. Because we're going to feed these bees heavily. Tomorrow you'll see us give them some more sugar syrup and uh, some pollen supplement to get them off growing good. That's a full sheet of brood on this side and that side. I don't see my queen. So that'll be a good one to bring up top. To help this colony get started off. I'll put it right next to that frame right there. And I'm just gonna keep working over until I see what I like. And there's my queen, so I'm going to capture her because I know where she's at. She just ran around on this side. Well, I said she did. That's why we went to all plastic foundations to avoid that, and it's reusable. We really like it a lot. It works well. So I've got my queen. She's captured, and she's safe. So I'm just going to set her over here to stay warm and I'm going to leave this frame behind for this colony. I want some open brood if I can find it. That's another sheet of full brood. Um, there is some open brood but not a lot up top. Slide her over just a little bit. That's another full sheet of brood. Okay, so we've got some open brood here. So my nurse bees are going to want to come up here and take care of this. Now keep in mind, I know where my queen's at. She's in that bottom box. I'm going to bring this up here. And this gives me a good starting point for queen acceptance. Because I can put that queen cell right against that open, open brood whenever we get ready to do that tomorrow. And keep in mind, we're using all drone comb. So that's a frame of stores there. frame of stores there. So this colony's got plenty of feed. I'm going to slide that over. I'm going to check and see how much brood I have left behind in this colony. That's a full sheet of brood and there's another full sheet of brood right beside of it. I'm going to close that off. I'm going to give her some room to lay. I don't like that frame. Let's we'll see what this one looks like. Mm, let's stick with some of these. This will give her room to lay and expand. This will give her some room to lay and expand. I'm going to 
push those over closer. I'm going to drop this one in over here. But she's going to need the room to grow. That's going to be a lot of bee power coming out of those two uh, frames that were capped. And it should be emerging any day. The problem you run into a lot of times running these feeders is this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape off this burr comb up top. Just because I'm going to use a queen excluder. They're really not exciting. I'm going to put her back down. And let her go back down into this box. And there she went. I watched her walk in. I'm going to put this in my pocket. I'm going to take these bees over here. This works a lot better when it's warm outside. Now I'm going to take my queen excluder. I'm going to place it on the top of this colony. My queen's in the bottom, we know that. I'm going to pull this one up top. And what that's going to do, that's going to allow these colonies to equalize each box the way they would normally do it without us having to second guess anything. I'm going to close this box up and we'll get back with you on the bottom box in just a moment. Okay, now that we got a smoker lit, give these bees some smoke because they're getting irritable. We'll smoke the back entrance also. I'm going to take these two boxes off. Very gently. I'm going to check my double screen board and make sure my queen's not on it. And she's not. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to shake these bees down. And keep in mind, there's no there's no queen cells in there at the, at the present time, so you can be a little rougher. Give them a little bit of smoke. I can hear that roar, that that queenless roar. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but these bees know they're queenless. Um, they've got a fair population of bees, and definitely enough, especially over a double screen board. Queen cells on that. Bee bread and stores. More stores. And this is the one that we found the open. Uh, the cell that they had started but it, it looked like she had chewed through but we couldn't find her now granted there may be a virgin queen running around in here but i don't think there is it's going to get a cell tomorrow either way and may the best queen win in my opinion more more uh, bee bread stores in here there is some cat brood but that's from what we gave them i'm just looking for any queen cells and I don't see any. More stores. Yeah, 
Yeah, this colony's looking good. They're definitely queenless, or they, they may have a virgin, but they act queenless to me, so. Quit sliding around on me. And as you can see, there's a decent amount of bee coverage on this colony here. I'm going to leave this frame open for now because later on we're going we're gonna to enclose it. Smoke the bees down. I hope that can't, the camera's picking up that noise they're making. Okay, real important steps. Make sure you put your double screen board back on. Because with that double screen board back on, these colonies are all going to share each other's heat. Um, it's, it's a little early to make splits for us. No doubt about it. It's only March 1st. These boxes are heavy already. But we've been feeding them. So, we want them fired up, ready to, ready to take care of queens and all that good stuff. Straighten this back out a little bit on the back. Bring this forward a little bit on the front. And all this isn't necessary. I mean, as long as they're shut, it's fine, but I'd rather it look good. I don't fall and kill myself. Okay, so we got that taken care of. This one's back on. It's fairly straight. And everything looks pretty good. Okay guys, we're back. Let's recap on what we did today. This box on our left, the, the medium super, they've been having queen issues since we first opened them this year. It appeared to be a drone layer they were trying to supersede. I killed that cell. We've been giving them brood from this strong colony um, for several weeks to keep them going and keep that uh, laying worker fair, or tendency down. Um, we went in it today. We found a few queen cells that they're trying to start. We killed those two. They're hopelessly queenless at this point, which we're hoping will increase our chance of them accepting our cell. Um, sometimes bees get so off balance, they don't want to accept a queen, a cell, or anything, but we're hoping it's going to work. On this colony, this one here on the bottom, it is queenless. Definitely queenless. Uh, you can tell by the roar, there's no, there could be a virgin, but I highly doubt it. Um, so we're going to add a cell to there. If there is a virgin in there, they'll work it out amongst themselves. Above that, we've just got a feeder rim here with a sugar brick to make sure there's plenty of food on this colony. This is our double screen board here, which is separating them and allow the heat from this colony and this colony to, to be shared. This is our queen right colony. It's got our laying queen in it that's doing a good job. She's got brood. Um, and it's ready to emerge. And what we did is we pulled some of her brood out of here, some cat brood and some open brood, which is eggs and larvae. And we pulled it up here above a queen excluder into this box. We're using all drone, drone comb, so we have the luxury of that. But if you don't have drone comb, I would wait a little longer in the year until, until you have some extra to do that. But you don't have to. You can use foundation, but to me, they're more readily going to come up here with drone comb in this, in this box. And we pulled some food up and enough to make our split above this uh, excluder. And what that'll do, it'll allow these two boxes to equalize out. They'll equalize, they'll know what bees power they need in this box, and they'll know what they need in this box. Now, I'm not saying I won't give them an extra shake tomorrow if I think they need it, but I don't think they will. Um, because tomorrow, we're gonna come back through and we're gonna add another double screen board right here, and this will be our split on top. And we'll give all three colonies a sale, and we'll wait and see if they emerge and if they go off to get mated that'll be great it is a little early um, we're hoping we got enough drones in the area to do it um, 
we've seen some drones, but you never know until they come back. They may be duds, and if they are, we'll have to start over with the process. But that's how we do it. We hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't. Um, if you got any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy beekeeping.